So knowing that y equals mx, that's the same thing as writing y equals mx to the first power. And when you differentiate, you want to just have m. So differentiated y would just equal m. So knowing that, you can rewrite this as 1 times m equals x to the uh, 0 power because x to the 0 power equals 1. So you can rewrite this as 1 times m is m and x to the 0 power is just a 1. So that equals m. So that's correct. That makes sense. So if I differentiate this by uh, making it look like this, it, it works. So writing this in general form then, you can rewrite this as um, the, these look the same, so we can, we can say that we'll just give a, we'll let a equal some variable, call it a. So we can say a, m, x, and then a, and then when you're done, you want it to equal zero, so um, a minus, we'll just assume a one for now. So that's the general equation. Uh, dy equals a m x to the a minus one power. So to check it out, we can draw another equation. We can call it, uh, just give it a constant value. Say it's um, c. So for all values of x, y just equals c. So that can be written as y equals um, c. And this equals the same thing as c times x to the 0 power. So using this equation, we can say dy bring the 0 down times c times x to the 0 minus 1 power, then this would equal 0 times x to the negative first power, which equals 0 over x, which equals 0. And that's correct because a horizontal line has a slope of 0 because the, the, the slope of a line is the uh, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And as you can see, y2 and y1 are the same value. So let's say it equals, well, it equals c. So this is going to be c minus c over x2 minus x1, which equals 0. So it works out. So assuming it's correct, then we can we can draw a third order equation, y and x, and make it start at the origin, make it do something weird like that. And let's say that is the equation for this line is x, I mean y equals um, m, let's say 2m, times x to the third power, gives you that line, let's say. So differentiating that, and using our general formula, dy should equal um, a times 2m times x to the 3 minus, or a, a minus 1 power. So that should be, if I plug in the 3 for a, I'll get 3 times 2m times x to the 3 minus 1 power. And so dy should equal 6mx squared. And that means that for any point along here, if I stick in like, let's just say I want to check here, x1, some value, let's say at this point, x1 equals uh, 7, let's say. I plug that number in and I get a value for dy, let's say, um, 7 squared is 49 times 6 is uh, 
300 and something times M. I don't know. You'd get that value here, say it works out. So at that point, you get some kind of a slope like this. Let's say I take another point here. You'll get a slope something like that. Over here, you'd get a zero slope. It's called the maxima. Over here, you'd get zero. Um, over here, you'd get a slope like that. So your slope changes. And, but this equation will tell you what the slope is for each point. And so that's different. So that's calculus for differentiating. Differentiating is you take an equation, differentiate it, and you can get these slopes. And actually, this if you plotted out this equation, you'd find that it's a uh, it's a second order equation of some sort. So this second order equation is the slope of this third order equation. And then if you took the slope of this one, you'd get a some kind of a linear line and if you took the slope of that equation you get some constant value so this is a slope of that equation that's a slope of that equation that's a slope of that equation so when you go this way deriving equation or driving deriving slopes from equations that's differentiating when you're looking for the slope when you go this direction you start with the slope and you derive the equation from it that's integrating that's how you integrate. So that's basically calculus. Getting slopes from equations and getting equations from slopes. Differentiating and integrating.